Welcome back to Enshrouded. In the last episode, we found the farmer and planted some mushrooms and went adventuring in the Revelwood. And today, we are going to search for the carpenter. So with that said, sit back, get cozy, and enjoy today's adventure. So I wanted to update you guys about the mushrooms here from last time. And uh, they look like they're ready to pick. I also planted a few more of them off camera. Uh, just to see, and yeah, they're in little clumps of three now, so maybe I'll try picking one and see what happens. So it added a red mushroom, but maybe they're not fully ready because I don't see a seedling there. So maybe I have to let them go a little longer because there's like one bigger one and then two tiny ones. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking I got to let them go a little longer. But yeah, with that update, I also wanted to spend a couple of my skill points... Uh, just because I didn't last time, and we have a few from our combat and things. So we have runner, double jump, what do we have here? Jump attack. There was also one, yeah, maximum shroud time increased by two minutes, allowing you to explore for longer. And that clearly would be really useful to us, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one, and let's see, endurance. Well, that's probably a good one as well. Snake Eater increases your poison resistance, which reduces the damage received from poison by 20%. Okay, well maybe I'll do the Endurance, just to be able to run around a little more. Wonderlust. Stamina consumption for the sprinting on dirt roads is reduced from 90 to 80%. Stamina consumption for sprinting on stone roads is reduced from 75 to 50%. Well, that'd be nice, because we are doing lots of exploring, and I think that uses up all of our skill points. Another thing I noticed when I logged on today is that the Alchemist and the Hunter both have something new to say. Maybe that's because I got some more skill points, or planted the mushrooms in the end of last episode. So, I'm not entirely sure, but let's see what they have to say. You need my services? Alright, so investigate the troubling rumors. Flameborn, I heard troubling rumors. Something horrible and grotesque is happening in the Springlands. An abomination and abuse of elixir. Please end this reign of terror before it's too late. Interesting. New location charted? Well, we'll have to see. These are a lot of new things. Okay. Flame protection. Flameborn, do you know why they call you that? You were forged from a sacrificial union between the ancients and humans. The Ancient Flame Soul allows you to enter the Shroud unharmed, but its glow doesn't last forever. With this power, you can rebuild the world, no matter what. Okay, so that's what the blacksmith had. Let's go to our journal and see if there's anything new here. So we still have the Hunter's Hand Spindle from last time, where we had to cross the Deadly Shroud, and we still had the Spire that we had to scale, again, across the Deadly Shroud there. And then the Carpenter, which we're doing today, and the Alchemist Rumors. Ah, here we go. This is the quest. This must be the quest where we get that uh, that head there from the scavenger boss that I needed to upgrade my flame again to cross the Deadly Shroud. So there we go. Perfect. I wonder if those quests were supposed to show up at the end of last episode or if I forgot to check the uh, NPCs here. But that is awesome. Okay, so we have that quest now, which is great. What does the hunter have to say? A test of skill. All right. Your step is silent, your eyes determined, you've been on the hunt. I won't ask what wild beasts you track, but your spoils are presentable, at best. Try gathering some animal fur, then we can talk. Quest update, a test of skill. Let's see, what is that, what is that quest here? Once to see animal fur, she will share, share a secret once you bring some to her. Uh, okay. Because I thought I had animal fur. Maybe this is not animal fur. Yeah, this is animal fur. So, okay, I have animal fur. What do you want? Another day. Another animal day. fur acquired. What is that? Some sort of blight permeates every fiber. The skin is fibrous and porous. Changed already. In the end, the shroud reaches all. Animal, soldier, king. All our bones crack the same. Here, I'll share my hunting grounds with you. Walk my trails and release them in my stead, Flameborn. Okay then, so another location marked here. Let's go to the journal again and a test of skill. The hunter shared a location of her hidden hunting grounds with you. Investigate the area to see what lies there. 
So I have to show on map? Where is this? All the way up here? Okay. Well, with that said, I think we're ready to seek out the carpenter, which is right over here. Ancient vault, the carpenter. Almost looks like we have another one of these shroud routes along the way that maybe we could check out for the first time. So we'll have to see, but I'll start making my way in that direction. Okay, so I'm realizing that rather than going this way to the carpenter, and there's our house by the way, I think it might be easier just to fast travel to the ancient spire that's already right over here since it's pretty close to the carpenter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then maybe we can just glide down to the carpenter from there. It does mean that we'll miss that shroud route location. So do rest assured I'll do episodes doing a lot of the adventure or live streams and such. But yeah, I think this is going to be a lot closer. Yeah, now we're only 192 meters away instead of over 700. So it's just right off in that direction. I don't really see it very easily from here. But I guess we'll try this. Let me go ahead and eat up. And we'll glide right down to it. Maybe it's that location? Yeah, it's got to be that little black uh, vault sort of in the shroud there. Yeah, let's head off that way. Almost looks like it might be that little vault in the side of the hill there. Within the shroud. So, I guess, I guess we'll see. We have an extra two minutes in the shroud, so that's nice with our new skill. Yeah, eight minutes now. Well, that'll be enough time at least to see, uh... See if we can get into here. Yeah, this has got to be it in here. Location above. Yeah, it's got to be this vault over here. Okay. So yeah, it is indeed in the shroud. Let's see here. Oh golly, we've got a bunch of these guys. Let's just take care of those. We've got a chest over here. Another mana potion. Ooh, ouch. Who dare shoot me? Alright, it's gotta be these ones. Ooh, ouch! Can I not block these guys? They are level 7, but they're not too bad. Okay, here we go. Looks like this will work. Let's just drink a health potion. Okay. Get those guys. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so it is in the shroud indeed here. Looks like you could even go from that direction. So yeah, maybe going from that direction I would have found it a little easier. Because it's a little bit hard to find down here. But nevertheless, we have entered. Where am I going here? I hear lots of little... critter thingies. Well, maybe we go down. Ancient Vault with Carpenter, okay. Oh gosh, that's a lot of them. Can I just, like, escape them here? Wow. Whoa, what is that? Whoa! Ouch, I can't block it. Yeah, I can't block these things at all. Okay. Youch. Health potion, maybe? Oh, there's like a few of these things. Okay, let's just use my mana. Cast this spell here. Jeez. Those things are a little creepy. And there's another one of them over here. So where am I supposed to go for the carpenter here? Well, let's just get this one before it's too late. And go ahead and roll out of the way of those. Roll out of the way of these, okay. There we go, that, that must be the easier way to get them. Okay. Yeah, man. Those things are definitely kind of creepy. Now well, we've got all these little critters over here. Those are taken care of pretty easily. Can we get up there? Are we trapped down here? There's no way we're trapped down here. I can't get up there, can I? What the heck do we do? Where do we go? Man, those devs are tricky, trapping us down here. Okay. Oh, we have a chest at least. Another healing channel. Where are my shroud potions? I've got a few of those. And someone was saying in the comments as well that it's better to do those uh, before you go into the shroud. So I guess we'll have to see. So yeah, this is a flame sanctum. What about what's across here? Can I mine through this rubble here? Is there something through here? It does say rubble, so... Almost feeling like I can... S maybe this is an escape? 
You know what? Uh, let's just grab a bunch of these little explosive things. Ah, there is something through here. Oh, just another chest though. Now saying we're in the carpenter's area. Another shepherd's lightning in there. So where the heck do I go? Let's just blow that up again. So that's a dead end. What about over this way? Oh gosh, another one of these little explodey things. Ah, here we go. Okay, this has got to be it. And yay, we have another little thing to restore our time. Yeah, let's go up here. Okay. Man, that was a little tricky. Okay, let's see here. Is that a return beacon? It looks like just a normal flame. Alright. Well, let's blast our way through this. Oh gosh, we got another one of these things. God, I really don't like these. Just keep rolling, keep drinking the health potion. Maybe I can get it with a... With that there? Let's see. There we go. Got it. Okay. Here we go. So this is the carpenter. Awakened survivor. Ooh, scrappy rake at the blacksmith. So a new one. There we go. Cade Hawthorne, the carpenter. Awesome. Ooh, and tons of the furniture. 34 more at the carpenter. So we can fully deck out our house now. What do we have in here? Oh gosh. This looks like, uh... This looks like just an easier way out, possibly. Let's glide down here. Yeah, this is an easier way out. Here we go. Now we're just out the front door again, it looks like. Well, this is very interesting. Oh gosh, okay. Well, let's head this way this time. And at least we can get out of the shroud. There we go. Perfect. So here we go. This is what it would have looked like if we came from this direction. So relative to the map, we're right over here. So awesome. Okay, well we have the carpenter there. While I am over here, I may as well just head over to this location for the shroud route here. And just see... Just see if anything is interesting with that. So I'm just gonna set that as a waypoint. And... Let's head over that way. There's also this village over here, which looks kind of interesting. Hmm. More Wena. Interesting. Okay. Let's take some of these wolves out here. Yeah, so there's probably a lot of stuff to explore in here. I think right now I'm just gonna go to that shroud route. But we'll have this location on our map in case we have to come back here for other quests and stuff. And I most likely will. Let's see here. Is this- oh gosh, that's the deadly shroud. Uh-oh. Let me- let me get back out and renew my time again. <laughs> Since we literally just sucked it all away. Okay. There we go, now we're back up to eight minutes. And there we go, here's these bridge that, uh, goes across it. And then we can kinda... leapfrog over here. Maybe. Across all the deadly shroud. And then, this is a, this is one of the routes, that's for sure. The shroud route, new location charted. So let's go ahead and axe this down and see what happens. Not oh, right now, little buggy. Ooh, another skill point from doing that. Does that clear, I guess that clears the shroud in this area then. Well, that's pretty cool. Ooh, whoa. Did people actually boat across this? Did this used to be water? Gosh, that's a little, that's a little scary there. Okay, well, it looks like that just cleared the shroud in this area, so it looks like we can just go and chop these roots down if we're close by them in the shroud, and then be able to sort of regain our time. All right, well, now that we're out of the shroud, let me just go ahead and fast travel home, and we'll see what the carpenter has. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Aid Hawthorne, the carpenter. All right, and I remember reading some stuff uh, in the passages, that name definitely sounds familiar. Oh, he's a short little fella. Let's go ahead and put him in right here. 
<laughs> you <-hoo. laughs> That's cool. Alright, talk to the carpenter. Tombs and treasures. Flameborn, you've got that spark. We share a passion, don't we? Architecture, art, grave robbing. Uh, I mean, preserving forgotten beauty. <laughs> it's rumored that our queen was buried, although none know where, alongside her curious. She's got no use for him now. She's dead. Ha. So, why not go exploring? <laughs> oh man, this guy's ruthless. Okay, and we have the bridge. You found my notes, yes. I've long considered myself among the best, though my aunt Braylon would beg to differ. Of course, great artists have a signature to mark their works. Mine is a chest. I set the foundation of Braylon Bridge, right by the middle pillar. Despite my best efforts, not a soul has noticed yet. Okay, so he set his chest in the middle pillar of the Braylon Bridge, and this was the guy with the Aunt Braylon. Okay, so there we go. We kind of knew he was ruthless from the beginning. Okay, so lots of new lore and quests and things. Okay, the Vuka. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Let's see. Lately, I can't help but wonder, the Vuka were always somber beasts bound to their caves, but they've been traveling east, aggravated. Perhaps this warrants an investigation. Maybe at their gathering location, you can find some answers. It would help to know what they're up to. Okay. Wow. And building Daedwin. Okay. Or Daedwin. You know, Flameborn, I helped to build Morwenna, named after my most peaceful auntie. <laughs> I built many a town around here. Ever seen Daedwin? I think I left some of my half-timbered blocks there. Why not check? Finders keepers. Alright, so lots of new blocks that we can go find and unlock, and so much through the carpenter. This is awesome. So yeah, that location, Merwenna or whatever, uh, was his nicer aunt, and then the Braylon Bridge was his uh, not-so-nice aunt. <laughs> So that's kind of funny. Okay, wow. So we have a lot that was just added to our journal with that. Yeah, check this out. Bridge construction report, and we get a new chest from that. Hid treasure inside the middle pillar of the Braylon Bridge as a trademark. All right. And then the Vuka ceremony. Ooh, we get a new trophy from that. We have to go take out those beasts. And yeah, test of skill. And Daedwin and its building block, so we get a new building block by completing this quest here. So where is that, out of curiosity? Ah, it's right over here. So all of these things are kind of in the similar area. Well, I guess I'm glad we did the carpenter, actually, before going across this deadly shroud area. And then, let's see, anything else that we missed? Doesn't look like it right now. I know the blacksmith has something to say now, though, that we brought the carpenter back, so let's see. Equipment lost. Okay. Art. Just where is it now? It was right here. My equipment chest. I need it for salvaging, but it got swiped. I'm telling you, someone took the whole chest. Ask around for me, will ya? Someone here is a dirty thief. All right. So quest updated. Oswald Anders' chest. So let's go back to the quest in the map. And let's see, right here. Wow, one of the survivors in your base has taken the blacksmith's equipment chest. Ask around to find the culprit. <laughs> okay then, I think that I think we know who that was. Uh, if 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 it was this guy, if it was the carpenter, maybe. Let's see, equipment lost. Yep, here we go. An equipment chest. Keep it down, will ya? Yes, yes, I borrowed it. Wanted to finish some old projects, you know? But er, if you tell old Oswald, I might lose my other hand. Get this. I'll tell you where to find it if you keep quiet, all right? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Yeah, we've got another one from the Alchemist. All sorts of ones today. Okay. Hello there. Carpenter rescued. Here we go. Another friendly face. This one will make a fine addition to our roster. Okay. An alchemist mortar. My trusty oh. mortar is lost. I suspect is in my tower in Lone Thistle. In the deepest depths. Please find it for me. My abilities will be much greater with it in hand. Alright. So, uh, yeah. 
tons of quests now, which is nuts. Okay. <laughs> and let's see, where is the... Where is the chest one? Yep, Alchemist Mortar. Okay. And I guess we unlock a lot of stuff by finding that. So that's awesome. I first wanted to see what we can craft through the carpenter here. So a kiln? Interesting. And then, ooh, a different type of small chest here. This magical small chest offers increase in storage space for items. The items stored in here can be used for crafting purposes from anywhere in the base. Awesome! So we can finally have our blocks and things in a chest and use them for crafting without having them in our inventory. So this will be insanely useful for building. This is why I kind of wanted to rush a lot of the adventure up front here so that our building time would be a lot more fun and easy. We have new beds here, tables. Wow, so many options here. The fireplaces here, chairs, benches, bathroom. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> All right, and a lot more illumination options. This is pretty neat. A firefly wall lamp. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. A ton of new doors here. Polished wood door. Wow, this is crazy. Carved wood door. New types of windows with like a little windowsill on the outside. This is so amazing. New shelves, ladders. Oh, this is awesome. Come on, Valheim. You've got a you've got a competitor for adding ladders to the game. Alright. And secret doors. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, this game just oh my gosh. I really can't wait. So you have trap doors, wall doors that no one would know is there. Again, another awesome thing you could do in like multiplayer, making mazes and little quests for your friends. This is so freaking cool. All right, well, I am so happy with that. Now I have to debate what we do next. We obviously have to get over and do some of the farmer stuff all the way up here on the map. And in order to do that, we have to go into this area. The Queen's Tomb, the Alchemist Rumors, the Alchemist Mortar, Lone Thistle. I think, yeah, this was where the, uh, this was where the boss was, I think. If we go to our journal and let's see, which one was that actually? Alchemist Rumors. Yep, here we go. So we need that boss head and we get like an upgraded grappling hook from that. Interesting. And yeah, that's right in here. So we still have some time left in this episode, so I think I am going to go ahead and do the Alchemist Rumors quest there in order to get the Scavenger Matron head to upgrade this flame altar for next time. So let's go ahead and teleport up to the Ancient Spire of the Springlands here because that'll be a lot closer. So here we go, it should be off in this direction, so let's start gliding. Maybe I'll make it to that little hill down there, and then from there jump off again and see how far we can get across the shroud there. But it's coming up on us pretty close here. Ooh, and here we go, we've got a little flame shrine to stop by. And some other plants here, what are these? Tomatoes, tomato seedling we just unlocked. So let me go ahead and glide down the rest of the way. Right across this shroud, or at least see how far we can get across it. There we go. And this is a nice gentle shroud without cliff edges like a lot of them. So here we go. And this must be the scavenger camp that we have to kill the boss guy in to get the head. Okay, Hill of Scavengers. Well, let's see. Do I kind of want to strategically do this maybe? Gonna sneak in. You know, if I go in these bushes, they can't see me here. Yeah, let's try to let's try to be kind of stealth about this here. So there's one of the guys. Oh gosh, okay. Quite a few of them actually. Looks like this will work though. Yep, come on, right down here. All right, yeah, we got this. Amazing, okay. Well, that worked well for a few of them. I'm just gather the loot here and continue going deeper into the camp. There we go. Now he's taken care of. We can also uh, trigger these explosives and stuff so I don't accidentally do what I always do and walk into them. There we go. So that's taken care of. Any chests here on the outskirts that would be interesting? Not yet, okay. 
Oh, we've got a nice little lookout point up a little higher. Wow, so this camp is kind of neat how it like cascades down the hillside like this. Alright, so we've got some more scavengers in there. Let me just check what's up this little path, if anything. Anything over here? I don't see anything. Okay. Just another lookout point up here. Oh gosh, yep, we've got something over here. Maybe we can actually trigger this explosive here. If I, uh... Oh, we already got him. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I could get my bow out. Try to trigger that. Ooh, and I can disarm the bombs. That's really cool. And then be able to loot this much easier. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And I know we've got more stuff up there. Okay, so let me just go up the hill here on the other side. Maybe up these stairs. Oh, yep, another guy up there. Actually, it's like our staff does a lot more damage than the bombs. It's, they're, they're kind of resistant to those explosives there. That's interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and loot that. We'll probably be coming home with a lot of metal scraps after today. Anything over here? Nothing at the moment, so maybe I'm safe to go scavenge these chests. Get all the goodies out of here. Let's see, yeah, lots of books, lots of crates and things. And I may actually do a live stream here at some point where I do some more quests and adventures and y'all can tell me everything that I've missed. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Scavenger Gorger Matron. Interesting. So we actually saw his health bar there in the top right of our screen for a minute. So that means we're probably getting pretty close. Got another scavenger right up there. I can shoot that barrel. There we go. Took care of one of them. Anything in this tent? Oh, we have a chest. Okay. More explosives. That'll be good. Ooh, and some more, like another journal entry right off that way. So what's over here, if anything? I guess we'll have to explore it. This is quite a big scavenger camp. And now we see the health bar of the scavenger Matron, so... Let's go and repair everything. And slowly make our way into this area. And there's that guy. And now maybe we can explore a little bit in peace here. Lots of elixir, which actually reminds me I should, uh, I should drink some of that. Because of the fact that it gives us our, uh, our buff there to do a little more damage since we've got a boss fight here. Oh, we've got another chest. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, a crackling wand but 20 damage. There we go. I got rid of my other crackling wand, so that one's a lot better. May as well keep that. And let's see, what does this say? The Gorger. We are captive three days now, weeks struggling with no food or water. This may very well be my last testament, but the scavengers are creating new horrors that I cannot unsee. Scavenger queens who've grown fat with gluttony are turning the dark laboratory in this encampment on themselves by infusing massive amounts of elixir straight into their hearts. These gorgers will spit poison and lob vials of corrupted elixir at their prey. Avoid them at all costs. If I do not survive here, consider yourself warned. And clearly they did not survive. Okay, I will be warned so they will be spitting poison and corrupted elixir at us. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, anything down here? Got a little secret room. What is this? This is quite a big tunnel here. Whoa. It's like a little passage through the hillside. It is, and it just kind of spits us out down here. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Always neat to find new stuff here. So with that, let's continue farther into the camp here. We've got this guy that we can go ahead and loot. More explosives. Anything over here. Oh gosh! We've got a wolf there, and it is growing to be nighttime here. So I think I'm going to go ahead, craft a flame altar, and put it right over in this area. And then we can head back and sleep, because I think that would be the best option here. Alright, I'm back and it is now daytime. So let's go see what this scavenger matron has for us. This might be kind of a tough boss fight, but I'm feeling pretty good. We've got our elixir buff. 
Got a couple health potions left. So we'll see what we can do. Alright, there it is. It's right in there. Okay. Oh gosh. That is one... Oh yeah, it's throwing the poison, all that stuff at us. Oh, this staff actually does a pretty good job at it. What about the bow? What if I do a headshot there? I think I missed that one. Oh golly, okay. Yeah, maybe this staff is honestly a pretty good way to go. Man. That's really throwing a lot of stuff at us. Golly, okay. Well, this is honestly doing lots of damage on it. Wow, 119 damage if we get hit by one of those things. Ooh, the explosives are fun. Okay. Let's try that then. Oh no. Whoops. <laughs> so I guess we do have to steer kind of clear of those. Let me go ahead and respawn. Put my flame altar right on the outskirts of the village now. And there it is. Let's see. Is it back up to full health? Or are we gonna be doing okay? Oh gosh. And we've got the bees. Yeah, it looks like it's back to full health. So, yep, there you go. Okay. Full health. So, if that's the case, I may, may as well just go back home and rest. And it looks like we'll have to do a bit of a better job next time. And, uh, not let it get us. Okay, I'm back again. Well rested. And let's see if this works any better. I think the staff strategy of just kind of standing on the edge with the staff is the way to go. Because that was clearly working pretty well. There's my body. Yep, okay. Yep, now we can kind of just duck behind here. Get another shot in at it. Duck behind here for the poison. Oh gosh, yeah, that does so much damage. That's just insane. Okay. Ouch! Gosh. Yeah, this is kind of- this is kind of crazy. We'll just keep on top of it. Okay, right on the side here. Ouch! Jeez! Okay. <laughs> Another health potion, I guess. Yeah, this guy is no joke at all. That is insane. Okay. Yeah, and kind of kite him down the stairs here. Golly. Okay, what about my bow? Ouch. Yeah, this is crazy. What about my sword here? Okay. Let's just use the terrain to our advantage here a little bit. Oh yeah, my bow's doing a bit of damage. Headshots. Okay, run out of the way of the poison. Oh gosh, we've got no more stamina. Alright. Careful, careful. One more headshot. And let's go finish him. There we go. Nice. Oh gosh, he blows up at the end. <laughs> no. Oh my. Okay. Well, we got the quest. I'll see you guys back here alive next time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me retrieve my body from last time. And let's search this area. There we go. Ooh, a new ring. Plus 20 health and plus 1 health regeneration. Man, this stuff all looks so good. And there we go. The Scavenger Matron Trophy. Or the head there. So that is what we can use to upgrade our flame or strengthen our flame again. Let's just go ahead and check what it has here. That was another bandage. I'll definitely use that. Be sure to look in all these places here. Ooh, yep. A gold chest up here. Forest longbow. Okay, well that's what we already had. Um, and I actually really like it. So I think I'm going to, yeah, we have this forest longbow. Which is uncommon versus rare. So I wonder which one can be upgraded higher. This one might be able to be upgraded a bit higher. So we'll have to see, and yeah, it does plus three fire magic damage and things. Um... Yeah, we'll have to see. I'll have to take both of them home. Either way, we can salvage a few of these that we don't need. There we go. And I'll just look around a little more, and then we can go back to the house and see about strengthening the flame. Okay, I'm back home now. Let me just check my journal here and see 
what we got done on it there. So let's see, the alchemist rumors here. So what do we have to do now? Craft the improved grappling hook. It will require less stamina use. Okay, nice. And craft with the help of the carpenter. So let's see what the carpenter says. Improved grappling hook. There we go. So we have our normal grappling hook, obviously. And then shroud spores, shroud liquid, and shroud cores. So let me just grab a little bit of shroud liquid, and then we just have to unequip our uh, normal grappling hook, I think. So here we go. Unequip, and then that should show up as uh, registered. Yep, there we go. So just a bit of shroud liquid. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Improved grappling hook. And there we go. Quest complete. The alchemist rumors. Awesome. So let's go ahead and equip that. And let's see. Does it have like any... Oh yeah. Definitely a lot less stamina cost. And that'll be nice. And it can be activated at larger ranges. Well, that's super helpful. Okay. Perfect. So now if I go to my journal. We have completed that quest. There we go. And yeah, I think with that said, this feels like a pretty good ending to the episode quest-wise. So let's just go ahead and see now what it is to strengthen the flame, and maybe we'll do that quick. So strengthen the flame, and there we go, we have the trophy now. So let me just go ahead and gather the rest of this stuff, which I think I have most of it in my chests here. And then yeah, we'll go ahead and strengthen it again. Here we go, I think I have this stuff for it now. Oh, aside from a little bit of charcoal, which I think is done. Yep, there we go. So we should be able to upgrade it now. Let's see. Yep. Strength and flame. Awesome. Okay, and a whole bunch of XP there. And now I'm guessing if I go to my map and go up here. Yep, this shroud is now blue instead of red. Perfect! So let me actually just go ahead and fast travel over to this area in uh, Revelwood. And we can end the episode over here. Alright, yeah, check that out. That bridge from before is now blue. We can officially cross over it. And that was the other Braylon bridge that uh, the blacksmith's chest is hidden in the middle pillar there. Because yeah, if we open our map here, you can see that the Oswald Anders chest there. And then we also have... The Diadwin quest there, Reclaim the Wilderness, Cave Entrance for the Hunter, and then Withered Encampment Note. So a whole bunch of stuff going on over here, which is awesome. And because there are so many quests in this area, what I'm almost thinking is, what if we set up a little forest camp over here and did a building episode for the next one? I kind of would like to build like a cozy little forest cabin. Nothing too big. Actually, are these something new we can harvest? Hazelnut. That's pretty cool. Okay. So yeah, nothing too big here, but just a nice little cabin. Maybe in the woods right over there, or maybe right over, like, on that side of the woods, right before we enter this camp. Uh, I don't know, just to mess around with some more building, with some of the new materials, like the flintstone block and things that we've acquired. Uh, just to have a little spot for a flame altar out here until we scale the ancient spire. So yeah, with that said, I think next episode very well may be a nice little cozy building episode, so stay tuned. Either way, I am so happy now that we finally have the carpenter and so much cool stuff uh, that's to come and a lot of awesome stuff that we've already unlocked. So this game is definitely opening up in so many ways now for lots of building and possibilities. So with that said, huge shout out again to all of my channel members. Be sure to join the Discord server through the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.